Hi, it's Rob from Joe Workman Stacks. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Exposé stack and the Sweet Button stacks to make a Terms and Conditions uh, agreement pop up on your website. So if you've been wanting to have uh, the, the ability to let people read an agreement before they access your website, uh, Joe has made a great update to the Exposé and Sweet Button stacks to make this very easy to do. So first thing you want to do is you drop your expose stack in. You'll leave the launcher area empty. You don't want to put anything in there. Then you'll uh, drop in some text that you'll use for your terms and conditions. Joe also added a, a header here with the words terms and conditions, but it's up to you how you set it up. And then we put it in a two-column stack, the agree and decline or accept and disagree or agree and disagree, whatever way you want to name the buttons. Uh, we put them in a two-column stack just so it looks better, but you can set it up any way you want, a three-column stack, um, you know, on top of each other, however you think it looks good. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do is you'll click on the expose stack. Okay. And the only thing you really need to worry about changing in the expose stack is just a couple of things. The first one is to make sure in the expose overlay area that you uncheck click to close. Okay. This way they will not be able to close your light box once it's open okay, by clicking outside of the light box. So make sure that's unchecked. You also might want to make your opacity like 100% or make your overlay color a little bit darker so they can't see the text or images that are behind your agreement. Um, then the next thing you want to do is go down to uh, the expose ID area and you'll want to set an ID. Okay, now here it says the ID is used to launch expose, but we're also going to use it for a different reason, and I'll show you that in the sweet button settings. Okay, the rest of the, um, oh, and make sure also that you uh, set it open on page load, and the delay default is five seconds. Make sure you put that down to zero, or else people will be able to see, you know, even at one second, they'll be able to see what your site has. So make sure you put the delay at zero, and make sure you also have checked in the behavior open on page load. Okay. Once you have all those three settings set, you can then go ahead and go to the sweep button settings. Okay. Let's do the decline setting first. Decline button. Now you want that to go to probably a specific page saying, you know, um, we we want uh, to be able to go to a website saying, you know. Thanks for uh, checking out our site, but since you do not agree with our terms and conditions, you cannot see our website or something like that. Joe just has it set to, and I'll show you, let's see, oh, the, the link going just to his sandbox site, okay? But you can put whatever uh, link or, or page you want to put in there. Now we're going to go to the agree button. This is a little bit more to set up. First thing you want to do is click on your set link button. Now you want to keep it the JavaScript void in the URL section, but you will want to add a class, and you do that by clicking on the plus button, and it will ask you to name your class and give it a value. Okay, I'm going to delete this one, but you want to name it class and the value of close. Okay, you can keep title in there, you don't have to worry about that. Um, once you have your link set up like this, you click on set link. And then again, you can skip a lot of this. You want to go down all the way. Well, you'll, of course, want to change the icon and the label and the color if you want. But then you want to go to the clicked state. Now, this is off by default. You want to click on that. Um, Joe believes that you should set it up, even though nobody will ever see what the clicked state looks like, you should set it up just in case to look like the normal state. Okay, so here we got that all set up. Then you want to make sure the persist click state is checked. Up then will pop a cookies expire. This is when your cookie will expire. Um, you can change this to whatever you want, but Joe suggests the number of uh, days of a year, 365 days. But again, you can change this whenever, whatever you want. Okay. Now one thing we need to do is now we're going to use that expose ID, and we set that expose ID as term. Here's where we use that expose ID. Okay. So we type in the word expose, underscore, and then the ID, just like it is down here in the class, but you want to use it here in the cookie name. Once you have that, you're ready to go. Okay. So then you can preview the page, and up should pop. 
your website with the terms and conditions. You can agree or decline. Now I suggest that you actually, if you're just previewing your page, is just go back into edit mode. If you click agree, you're going to have to try to find your cookies for your for RapidWeaver, which can be hard to find, and delete the cookies for RapidWeaver, because it will save cookies for RapidWeaver's preview. So I suggest you just go out of edit. Okay. Um, this uh, page that we have set up here comes on the expose disk image. So if you need to um, get this page to look at, you can go right ahead and do that. I've also set up a FAC on our docs page, and there'll be a link in that FAC on showing you how to or where to go to get um, to re-download your stack. It's very simple to do. You just need to um, go to a certain spot in Cartloom, type in your email address that you bought the stack with, and you'll be able to re-download re it without an issue. So that's the uh, new uh, setup we have for the expose stack and the sweep button stacks. We hope you like this. Um, we've had some a lot of people asking for something like this, and we thought, why make a new stack when you can do it with an old stack? So uh, happy weaving, and, and enjoy the stacks.